quarterback matchup tomorrow. Derek Carr or Joe Burrow, who you got? This is another situation, Greeny, where the producers did not give me an opportunity to answer this question before the show. But the answer is Joe Burrow. Yo, guys, you guys already had it right. And listen, Derek Carr has been amazing this year. I think he's been the best leader in football. But Joe Burrow played like an MVP down the stretch of this season. He got better as the season went along, as he got healthier and more comfortable with his skills, his skill players. I expect a top-notch game out of him, and he outplays Derek Carr. Yeah, and look, I mean, I'm not sure. We, we gave you the Jamar Chase one and the yeah, Joe right? Burrow. All the LSU questions <laughs> went to our, Ryan Clark today, which is almost too easy. Let me ask a serious question here, though, RC, because this is Burrow's first playoff game. I was making the point mm -hmm. earlier in the week that this is a guy who went into Bryant-Denny Stadium and beat Alabama. This is a guy who played in the mm -hmm. college football national championship game. So, so are all big games the same, or is there something different about an NFL postseason game even after the huge games he's played in college? Um, no, all big games aren't the same. They aren't. They are. They aren't all weighed the same. Like I think Joe Burrow. This is a step up in speed. This is a step hmm. up in competition. This is a step up in importance. But I also believe that he's built for it, not just simply because of the games he played in 2019 at LSU. This isn't a guy that's had everything handed to him. This isn't one of those five-star silver plate kids. This is a dude that had to transfer from, from Ohio State, that didn't have a great year as a junior, that had to ascend to be the number one overall pick, and that now has played through injury to get himself back to this position. So I think... It's Joe Burrow's intangibles that are going to be great for this situation, not necessarily that he's already played in big games. I think he'll adjust, he'll understand the speed, understand the moment, and play well once he settles in. All right, let's pick it. Uh, we're going to pick all the games as we go through here this morning. Graz, we'll start with you. Who do you like, Raiders, Bengals, tomorrow? I like the Bengals. I think they're going to be able to run the ball. The, the Raiders have a hole in the middle of their defensive line uh, with Darius Phylon, the, the great defensive tackle, is yeah. now hurt. I think they're going to run Joe Mixon up the middle and then free up enough to make those plays on the outside with those big receivers. Ninko, who you got? Yeah, I'm going Bengals. And all the talk in their passing game, Joe Mixon is a beast at, at the running back position. So I'm going with Cincinnati. If their offensive line can protect, Joe Burrow, watch out because they're a dangerous team. Uh, RC, how do you feel about LSU North this weekend? They going to win tomorrow? <laughs> hey, I'm going with LSU North, Greeny. I like that. Going with Joe Burrow uh, and the Cincinnati Bengals. I think they're the better team. What the Las Vegas Raiders have done throughout this season has been amazing, but I believe the journey ends here. Me too. Look, I mean, I, I hate it when we have mm. this, yes. what's about to happen on Always our screen. Always dangerous. When, when, when someone takes a screenshot of this thing, yeah. when it goes the other way, which tends to happen a lot. But it is a clean sweep. We all like Cincinnati tomorrow again as the morning continues. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.